Hello friends, welcome to Mac at Heart. This is the first episode of series of videos for learning Fusion 360. We are going to create this pen and learn 3D tools of Fusion 360. We will start from creating the folder, sketch and part modeling tools to create different parts of this pen. Then we will learn how to assemble this pen by using the assembly tools. We will learn rendering module and take great pictures of this created product for presentation and product design reviews. We will be going to the animation module and show different parts of the product. Finally, we will be taking the product to drawing module and prepare blueprint drawings. This pen has not been 3D printed, so no guidance on this has been included. While creating this module, I learned quite a few things about pens and their design. I am going to share my knowledge about these two. This course will give you a complete overview of Fusion 360 software and its capabilities. A little basic knowledge about a CAD software is needed for learning this. So, let's start and create. This is the Fusion 360 workspace. Here you can see the tools and this is my browser. In this all my sketches are going to be recorded. Here this is called the data panel. This is how we are going to organize all our files. So when I click on this data panel, I am clicking on new project. I am going to name my project as create. And that is the name of the pen that I have taken. Now when I click on new project, now this new project folder is being created. When I double click on this create folder, you can see that currently it is empty. So all the files I am going to create now will be created inside this project. Now I can also make subfolders by creating new folder or I can even upload models from other designs. going to close this data panel and clicking on save to save this file. I am going to give the name as cap as cap is the first part of the create pen that I am going to make. Here I am switching on this bulb beside the origin to see the origin. Here are the three planes x, y, y, z and z x planes. These are the planes I will be using to create my 2D sketches and then making them work for me in the 3D space. Now I am clicking on the bottom plane and I have clicked sketch. Here when I click sketch again I am now in the 2D environment and you can see that there are number of entities I can use to create my 2D forms. I am first going to select circle. I am taking the center diameter circle. That is I need to specify the center and then the diameter. Now I need to give the dimensions. So I am going to sketch and sketch dimensions. I can also click D in the keyboard. I am giving it as 10. So the diameter is 10. Now I can come back to the 3D space. So I am going to click on stop sketch. So I am in the 3D space now. So here are my views. So when I click on the home view, home button, you can see that I am in the orthographic view. Okay, I am clicking on the extrude tool and I have to first select the profile. So I can select this profile and I am playing with the arrow that appears so that I can drag it. Now I have clicked to the new body option and I am giving the distance. Instead of one side, I can use symmetry or two sides option also to drag the arrow both sides and give a separate distance also for dragging out. So I am clicking on OK and here I have my rod. So congratulations you have created your first 3D object. 
So you can see that the sketch is automatically switched off. This bulb button beside any entity will help you to show or hide that entity. So I have now hidden the origin and also the sketch. Here are the navigation tools I can use. So this is the tool that I can use for zoom in and zoom out. This is for rotating the object and this pan tool is for moving it here and there. Now again you can see that I am in the orthographic view. You can see the front view and top view. So this is according to the plane that you have first selected for your sketch. You can of course change them later also. So now I'm going to click this plane instead of the existing planes and on this plane I'm going to create something. So I have selected this plane and going to the sketch profile. So that is going to be my sketching plane. So I'm going for sketch and I'm drawing a circle. I'm clicking D in the keyboard and going to dimension it. As I have mentioned before, all these dimensions are only approximate. I'm clicking on the stop sketch to come back to the 3D environment. Here now that I have this sketch, I can click on this profile, the newly created one and I am going to again create extrude and this time I can create a cut and I can mention the distance and direction also. Because it does not intersect with any material it is showing an error because the arrow was on the opposite side. Now I have shifted the arrow to the other side by giving a negative value to the distance. So here you can see I have created kind of a hole inside this rod. So this is actually my cap. So I am again saving this file. And here you can see how it has been created. Now the bottom bar that you see is my history tree. All the entities that I create in this space are saved over here and this bar can be moved here and there and you can see how it has been created. So when I click on this play button you can see step by step how this part has been created. This is more useful when your friend has created something and you just want to know what are the steps he has used for designing it. I'm going to leave in the description the link of the video which explains why we need to add a hole and you will be surprised to see that almost all the pens will be having this hole at the top. So now I can play with this history marker. I can actually place it much before and here I can add one more feature and then make the other feature come after this. So here I am going to add a hole to it. Now I am going to hold tool. So on this surface I am going to add a hole. So here I can click on the center point and approximately and then I can snap it exactly to the center of the previous center and then you can see I have a number of options for creating this hole like I can select the hole type drill point and many other things which you will find in the dialog box of the hole so here approximately according to the dimensions that I am making this pen with I have created this hole There is a separate video which explains how to create holes.
So now I'm clicking OK and I have this hole. You can see in the history bar that this hole is now created before the extrusion part. So now that I have dragged it, you can see again I have got this hole here but it was created before this other cut that I have created. Now I would like to add a fillet to this. So I am going to modify and click on fillet or F in the keyboard. Here I can give the radius. So this fillet radius is 1 mm and this is going to create smooth surface for me while using this pen. So I am again saving this file. Now there are number of operations that I need to do 